Hello, every pony. Hello. Welcome to Cosplay for Confidence, and welcome to Super Speedy Cider Con. Woo! -hoo. Woo -hoo. I am so happy that you got here early in the morning, beating the traffic to be able to attend the first panel of Super Speedy Cider Con. The opening ceremony was quite short, so this is going to be a full-length panel, and we are going to talk today about cosplay for confidence. Do you love cosplay? Yeah. Woo! Do you want to be more confident? Yeah. Then you're in luck because we're talking about both. <laughs> <laughs> to get started, I'm going to show you an example of my persona. So, are there any furries in the audience? You're not alone. There we go. So, personas. I have a cat girl. Her name is Munich, and she is my cat girl character. I had created her probably about 15 years ago now, so they tend to, oh, hold my calls, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> so I made my cat girl persona, and I, you know, in the cat form, I don't use too much, but as a cat girl, absolutely. I was big into anime, any anime fans here? Yeah. All right, we're gonna talk a little bit about anime. And my cat girl, pretty much, she was who I am, just a little more assertive and confident because, believe it or not, I was not always confident. Being confident takes practice, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that. If you wanna cosplay for confidence, all you have to do is dress up like your character, right? That's the idea of cosplay. And actually, one of the interesting things about this is that this piercing here, I have a bar in my ear. It's the same as the one that the cat girl has, and that is something that I waited 10 years before I got. I wasn't sure if I wanted it. I was like, you know, it's permanent, it's, you got to take care of your piercings. And I said, you know what, that is a part of me, that's a part of my character. So I was able to get the piercing once I was comfortable. So now I always have this bar to remind me of my confident cat girl character. And when you cosplay for confidence, you can cosplay outside of conventions. In fact, that's what I dress up as normally. When I showed this to my husband, he said, oh, that's, that's you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm totally cosplaying just like my character. They don't realize that that is actually my cosplay. But after a while, it becomes part of you. So if there is a character or a person that you look up to, and it would make you feel more comfortable to dress like them, to feel like you're channeling that energy, that's what Cosplay for Confidence is all about. So you're ready to talk about confidence? Woo! All right. Unfortunately, the first thing we have to talk about is not confidence. We're going to talk about fear. Because the hardest thing that keeps you back is fear. And fear is natural. Everybody can be scared. Everyone does get to have fear at some times. It's just a lot of people hide it. So if you're scared or nervous, don't feel like it's a weird or unnatural thing. In fact, fear is most often about judgment. It's not that you're afraid of doing something, it's that you're afraid of how you'll look, right? You're afraid of what others will say. And so you have to be able to take that fear and say, you know what? To, it, to conquer fear means to embrace it and to be better than that fear because everyone feel scared, but if you can be brave and confident, you can get over it. And fear is one of those things that feeds on itself. Have you ever had some bad thoughts and they start to just make you feel worse and worse and you can't stop thinking about it? It happens, and it happens to even myself. So when you get scared, the first thing you have to do is stop digging a hole. Think about your problem. Recognize that you have a fear or a concern and then stop digging because once you stop making it worse, you can start to figure out how to get out of the giant hole. Does that make sense? So we have to conquer our fear, be brave, and be able to be ourselves, which is the next point. Have the courage to be, and I put a parenthesis behind this because believe is part of be, but they go together. To be yourself is the most important part of being confident. You have to like who you are, and if you're not being yourself, your true self, if you're not being true to yourself, 
it's not going to help you. There was a time when I was pretending to be who my parents wanted me to be. I was trying to be a star student. And yes, I was smart, but I was being too good when I wanted to have fun. I would say, oh, I can't go to a party because I need to study. Sometimes it's okay to relax and let go. I'm not telling you guys to go off and do illegal things. <laughs> but you have to be able to be comfortable with who you are and to say what you want to say. And I'll talk more about assertiveness tomorrow at my assertiveness seminar. And if you're not able to make it to the assertiveness seminar, I have a table just outside this door, so you have to go around and out. And I have a table with cards to my YouTube. I have videos online if you can't make it tomorrow. So there's actually a great character in My Little Pony who is totally zen. Any ideas who that is? Mod Pie. Mod Pie, close. Not this time. Snails. <laughs> also not right. Anybody else? Yes? Treehugger? Yes. <laughs> Treehugger. Treehugger says, I meet a lot of different creatures, each one of them perfect and unique. Each one of you are perfect and definitely unique. I know there's a stigma about special snowflakes and everybody's different, but guess what? It's true. And Treehugger understood that. She was totally in love with the schmooze, right? She was like, yeah, no big deal. It just eats lots of crystals and tries to take over balls. No big deal. So each one of you are different and unique. And if you have the courage to be yourself and have the courage to believe in yourself, you will become more confident. It takes time. Again, I actually was shy and didn't have too much confidence before I went to my assertiveness academy, but trust me, if you practice, you will become more confident. Our last point, cosplay for confidence, why you're all here. So the rest of today, we're gonna to talk about how what you wear can help you to feel more confident, to be yourself, and to get over your fear. Are we ready to go? Yeah. Let's cosplay for confidence. Woo. If you didn't know, my name is Brass Knuckles, Assertiveness Ace, and I have currently an email sign-up. If you are interested in getting my emails, feel free to, it's going around. I spend all my time being extremely confident, and when I transform into my human self, if I look the same, no one knows that I took off my horns. That's what happens when I turn into a human. It's the exact same, just without the horns. Nobody else would know that I'm dressing like brass knuckles. And if I need to go to work in the real world, I can put a jacket on top and look exactly like brass knuckles, just without the hooves and without the horn. And actually, I could still wear a tie to work if I wanted. It's that easy to cosplay in the real world. One of the hashtags in the introduction was everyday cosplay. That's everyday cosplay. Everyday cosplay means you can dress up whenever you want, whether it's at work, at home, or out at the mall. Wherever you want to be, you can be in cosplay and they won't even know it. Not too long ago for dress, uh, International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Anybody pirate? Arr! Yay, a bastard! So what did I do for Dress Like a Pirate Day? I wore a frilly white blouse, a black skirt, and I put on a red sash. Now, I know sashes aren't in style, I don't know why. I got compliments on my red sash. No one realized that I was actually dressing like a pirate. <laughs> but I knew inside that I was a pirate for International Talk Like a Pirate Day. And it was really fun. I told a couple of my colleagues, they're like, oh my gosh, you're totally a pirate. But no one else knew that I was cosplaying at work the whole day. The whole day. It was fantastic. That's what cosplay for confidence is about. You can have fun, you can be yourself, and if you like to cosplay, you are in luck. So what's about this? It's about the components. You have your necklaces, your colors. Extremely important to wear the same colors as the characters and to do things like wear this bracelet, which actually the TSA nearly confiscated from me. <laughs> Apparently replica brass knuckles are not allowed, just like normal brass knuckles. Wow. But they let me through, so don't tell anyone. 
I think this panel is being recorded. <laughs> uh, yeah, so TSA, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, wear things that remind you and check dangerous weapons in your luggage. This will definitely be going back in my check bag. Lesson learned. Do we have any fans of this little pony? Woo! Yay. Final scratch. So back Ooh, four years ago, 2012, 2013, when it was just coming on, we had this silent pony. We didn't know if it's a boy or a girl, but it was a cool side character. I said, this is great, but there's no definition of what it would wear as a human until this happened. Yeah, yeah so now we know what humans should be wearing, but does that mean you have to dress exactly what, like what is in Equestria Girls? How many of you are wearing what's exactly like Equestria Girls? Oh, okay. That's what I went for. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stand up, stand up. Okay, so you, oh, and show your shoes too. Strut your stuff in the middle there. Look at that. So you can't dress exactly <laughs> like what's in the show. Because, well, and to be honest, if I take off this wig, I could literally just wear this out the door. <laughs> That's what Cosplay for Confidence is about. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was a great example. I'm glad it could help. <laughs> <laughs> so for Cosplay for Confidence, you take the character. You put similar colors on, and if you're at a convention like this, you can wear the wig. So when you take off the wig, oh, or you can wear different outfits with the same colors. And when you take off the wig, you can walk out the door and still be cosplaying. And let me tell you, not many people will recognize that you're wearing a PD Mark necklace or a belt, bracelet, necklace. And a lot of cool things are actually available on Etsy, E-T-S-Y. Etsy is a great place for crafts, and they make lots of pony swag. In addition to the swag that's being sold in the vendor hall right now, Woo! the artist alley. So buy things and cosplay with it. I also did a few other outfits. <laughs> I had Gala vinyl scratch with brown matching with Octavia. I had, um, this was Royal Wedding vinyl scratch, wearing a red dress to match the eyes, which were red at the time. <laughs> I did biker vinyl scratch at BronyCon three years ago. I did pool party vinyl scratch and Renaissance Fair vinyl scratch. <laughs> you can make your character, whether it's pony or not, into anything that you want, as long as it reminds you of that character. That is cosplay for confidence. What is it about? Again, the components and the colors. I found these amazing headphones on eBay for like 20 bucks. You can get the necklaces on eBay and the gloves as well. I actually have some gloves available at my table. Shameless plug. I have a lot of friends that I have been inspiring and one of them, his name is Van, he is a teacher. And he said this in a late night moment of wisdom. I wanted to share it with you. Put yourself out there for others to see. Have the courage to be yourself. Because then, like we're doing right now, you can forge friendships with the people around you. Look around. Everybody here is a brony. Everybody here thinks you're awesome for being here, right? Yeah, yeah. So I want you to take this confidence to meet people, to get people's emails, to get people's names. I don't know about phone numbers. We don't do phones now, do we? <laughs> What's a phone? Right? <laughs> Forge friendships, even if they're only digital. Because we're not always going to be at a con. Does that make sense? Here's a couple of cosplays my friends did. This is Mark. A little dark. He's dressing up as uh, Nightmare Moon Luna. He has uh, just a simple blanket or shawl as her cloak, wearing all black, and he has this crest, if you can see it. It's a Luna crest, again, from Etsy. If he took off that cloak, and even if he was wearing the necklace, I'm sure everybody else would be like, whoa, what bling, you know? That's cool. It's simple to do everyday cosplay. Here's another one. If you don't have much, but you have a t-shirt. <laughs> this is Pinky Bowl. Pinky Bowl, all he did was stick on a tail, and the Deadpool hat and the ears. But if he took off those and wore that out, he could still channel the energy that he gets from being in people. And this gentleman in particular has a difficult time talking to people. And if you have that same problem, don't feel bad because it's tough. 
I actually do some panels on interactions. If you want to talk to me later, I can give you some advice on how to introduce yourself, say hi, and talk to people. But for some people, wearing a mask or a fursuit and being able to be that character gives you the confidence to talk to people, to do, to do things that you want to but can't do with your regular face. It's OK. Because a lot of people are like that. And if you are like that, take small steps. Wear stuff like this. Become more confident as the character, even though your face is your human face, which we all have. And they're all beautiful. You're all lovely people. Here's another one, my friends. She has more outfits than I do. This is Fluttershy. Shy Fluttershy. Pirate Fluttershy. Yes! <laughs> and um, Japanese Fluttershy, which is beautiful. If you think of it as something that your character would wear, you're good. Nobody's judging you, are they? No. So as we talk about cosplay for confidence, it does not matter who your character is or what you're doing as long as you have fun and it makes you feel confident. So. <laughs> Yes, you can have an original character in Donut Steel. <laughs> you may be judged <laughs> if you make something like this. <laughs> but, but, it's going to be okay as long as you have fun. Ooh. Any Voltron fans out there? Yes. That is Everyday Cosplay. Here's some resources. Casualcloset.cosplay.com Casual. Closetcosplay.com. That's a tongue twister. Polyvore. It sounds bad, but it's not. It's actually a fashion site. Polyvore.com. And they actually have that, again, hashtag everyday cosplay. If you look at that online, you're going to find all kinds of cool outfits. So I have tons more examples, but I wanted to see if anyone wanted to show off their outfits right now. Do we have any volunteers that want to show off your cosplays or your outfits? <laughs> okay. Round of applause. <laughs> and your name, please. Okay. Everyone, this is Kayla. Woo. Hi, Kayla. Hi. And what is your outfit? Chrysalis. Okay. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Now, how would you change this to wear it outside in the real world? Uh, it's just a black dress with a pair of hoodies. You could probably still get away with the, the sash. Too, right? Maybe. I think so, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Too. Also, I saw a lady yesterday that was wearing a scarf in that color, and I thought she was literally cosplaying, but I think she was just a normal hotel guest. <laughs> <laughs> That's how easy it is. Thank you. Did you want to say anything else? Nope. All right, thanks for volunteering. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes, come on up. <laughs> Your name, please? Everyone, this is Celia. Hi, Celia. Hi. Tell us about your outfit. Uh, well, I bought this dress, and I really liked it, and I thought, ooh, it'd be really good for Twilight. So I got this wig, and then I eventually got the ears and the horn. Perfect. And there is a lot of stuff in your closets, your friends' closets, your parents' closets, probably your grandparents you could steal from them. They've never, I didn't, I didn't say that. <laughs> you can ask your grandparents for awesome retro stuff that looks really cool. I may have actually borrowed my uh, dad's vest for a dipper cosplay. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and guess what? It doesn't cost anything. So, that is Everyday Cosplay. Did you want to say anything else? Uh, thank you. Yay! Nice. Thank you! <laughs> Perfect! Any other volunteers? I don't know if I would count it cosplay, but this is my head. This is mostly my head today. So in this, on the side here, the everyday outfit is just pony stuff. Perfect, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Um, my name is Patrick. This is Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Welcome. First Pony Con. First Con. Woo! All right. I'm feeling welcome. Good. Continue to feel welcome, and thank you for volunteering. Mm -hmm. So that brings up a really good point, actually. You can wear shirts with logos. We're going to show a few examples of that. You can wear underwear <laughs> with your character on it. 
or your character's colors. I see some thumbs up. Yeah. My dashy underwear is upstairs. Yep. <laughs> if it makes you confident, it doesn't matter. Nobody else is going to see it, right? <laughs> Good. Okay. And actually, socks. Any sock fans out there? Oh, yeah, socks? Yeah, yeah. Designer socks? Yes. If you're wearing socks, you can either show them off or you can wear pants and hide them. And you know that you're still wearing that character in that color, and it can make you feel like you're cosplaying to get that confidence. Does that make sense? Let's go through some more examples. Are you ready? Woo! Woo! All right. Let's go here. Fandom scarf. Anyone know what this scarf is? Mm -hmm. Yes. Doctor Who! Any Doctor Who fans? Woo! Yes! All you have to do is wear that scarf. So this is my friend Liz. She said she was walking down a random street and got stopped by people who asked for her picture because she was wearing a fandom scarf. If you wear, there are My Little Pony scarves. There are Harry Potter scarves. Think about this. In sports ball, <laughs> sports ball, the general sporting fans tend to wear their team's colors, the scarves, the shirts, the pants, they dress up Everything. their cars, their homes. Is that not cosplay? Yeah. They wear their team's colors as much as we wear pony stuff, right? Woo! Yeah. Be proud of wearing pony stuff because if they're wearing their sports ball team stuff, they are also cosplaying as much as they want to deny it. It's nothing to be ashamed of, and actually it makes them feel good because they're like, yeah, sports ball team! <laughs> Shadow Bones. Uh-oh. Uh, Wonder Colts? Okay. <laughs> Let's go. What are their cults? So you can wear whatever it is that makes you comfortable because trust me, there are other people that do it too. How about video games? Mass Effect players, anyone? Ben yeah. uh, Shep fans. This is my friend's Ben Shep, female Commander Shepard outfit. Her Commander Shepard outfit is extremely interesting because. No spoilers, but she flies around the universe saving worlds from disaster. And because you can customize your character, she can make her hair and makeup look like her video game character. When she has to do important presentations at work, she does her hair and makeup just like it and wears red, black, and white. Those are her power colors. Those remind her of Commander Shepard, her character. That's how she cosplays at work confidence. How fantastic is that? Woo! Yeah, yeah it's, it's so awesome. This is another one of my friends. Any G.I. Joe fans? Okay, a few. This is Low Light, <laughs> and this is his costume. Pretty simple. It's just um, utility work, and then if he takes off the hat and goggles, he's wearing just a utility shirt, pants, and some nice heavy-duty shoes. He works construction. He wears his low light costume to work, and no one knows. And in the winter, I bet you he wears that hat. Totally awesome everyday cosplay. Now, I don't know if you've seen any ninjas around lately, <laughs> but even ninjas have to go shopping. What happened? He just took off his mask. That's it. It's super easy to do. Now, we're going to change our tone here and go for something a little bit more modern. Woo! Yeah! Fans. Woo! Yeah. All right. So, we know who this is? Yeah. Darn it. Fantastic gem. Not everyone's going to be this good. Woo. Oh, gosh, that's good. I actually messaged her to ask her permission to share this. It's fantastic. She is doing a fantastic job, but I can't be that good. <laughs> Do I try to? No. I wear the same colors, which is black, red. I have gloves. Again, I can make these for you if you're interested. And you can channel the colors and the feelings of the character without having to go to the ultimate cosplay level. With just what's in your closet, you can wear black and red and be like, darn it. That is everyday closet cosplay. And it'll make you feel confident because is she not super confident? Mm -hmm. She's fantastic. 
The motherly character, I love her. She's so good. And now she's cheering on no spoilers. She's cheering on awesomeness, and I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what is it again? Gloves. And remember those sites that I showed you? They actually make outfit pages with all of the pieces. So if you don't know how to make one, do a search for that character's name and outfits, and you'll find stuff like this. It's got the shoes. It's got the gloves, shirts, glasses, shoes. Men and women, don't feel left out. And again, you can crossplay. I am definitely not Iron Will, right? I am Brass Knuckles. Or you can just wear t-shirts. This is my friend Royce. Iron Will Smith. Yeah. <laughs> my buddy at Brownie Con. He just likes to wear Captain America stuff, and he had this amazing coin pouch. <laughs> Any Naruto fans? Yes. That is his coin pouch. And I'm like, you are cosplaying just with that coin pouch. You know that, right? And it makes him happy. How many of you have my little pony wallets? Yep. Okay, you are all now best wallet friends. <laughs> and it makes you happy, right? Fantastic. Okay, we're going to change tunes again. Nintendo fans. Yeah. yeah. Villain fans. Yeah. Bowser fans. Yeah. All right. I adore Bowser. Absolutely. And when I made my outfit, I looked online. You can find sketches of different characters. This is one that I really liked. And when I decided to make my outfit, I said, you know what? I don't want to be as risque. I actually wear pants. Pants are cool. And I was able to put together a closet cosplay using a yellow shirt, some black trick pants from the 90s. Yes. A green vest, and I actually made some plushy spikes so I wouldn't kill people when I walk in the door. <laughs> and then I also was able to dress down. So when you take off the wig and the horns and you just wear the outfit, you are still cosplaying, just secret cosplay. In fact, if I took off the vest and the dog tags, and wore that, still Bowser-esque. Dog tags. So this is how you break it down. You do the necklaces, the accessories, and I'm going to show you something really cool. Nail art. Yeah. Nail art is for everybody. So these are reptile ritz, I believe. Jamberry nails. You, they are slightly expensive, but they're, they'll stick on your fingers for a couple weeks if you do it right. And it's not just for women, men. You can also have awesome nail art. The best part about nail art is their stickers. So you can peel them off if you have to go to some place that might not smile upon nail art all the time. I mean, it, again, the real world is slightly judgmental. And if you're not comfortable with it, you can just peel them right off. In fact, there's a lot of different themes. One of them is superheroes. Yeah. Look at all the different kinds of nail art that you can wear this from. Oh, borderline. Yes. They have claptrap nail art. Oh. And there's a lot of different nail art now. There's like Disney nail art for like Frozen. If you look it up, there's probably going to be some out there. And if not, you can actually request it. So that's pretty fun. Let's go to Resident Evil. Yes. <laughs> Jill is pretty awesome. My friend Liz, again, decided to do an outfit from her closet. Blue top and a skirt and boots. I know it's a little fuzzy. She came from work and wore this. The only thing that she did was put um, a, a cardigan, a shawl over her shoulder so it was more formal for work, but she wore that exact outfit to work. Nobody noticed that she was cosplaying. <laughs> but she knew she was dressed up as Jill Valentine. It was fantastic. Yeah. She also did Ramona Flowers. That's her and her husband. And she gave a speech, because we are in a club called Toastmasters. It's an international speaking organization. If you need to get over your fear, I highly recommend it. She gave a speech wearing that wig because it gave her confidence. Everyone knew her as the girl that wore wigs, but that was okay because that's who she was. Remember that have the courage to be and believe in yourself? Wigs were what gave her the courage to be able to practice speaking. She said without having done this at Toastmasters, when she got married, she would not have been able to say her wedding speech. 
and it was fantastic. I am so proud of her because she gained confidence through cosplay and practice. All right, you ready for the next one? Yes. Star Wars. Yeah. This is from the comics, and it's older. Anyone know who this character is? Is that so, RJ? It's Nomi Sunrider. Oh. Nomi Sunrider, a Jedi from the Old Republic. And I was a ridiculous fan of her when I was young because there weren't a lot of Star Wars movies back then. And I thought she had the power, the confidence, she was a strong woman Jedi. And so when the new movies came out, I decided to dress up like my version of a strong female Jedi. I photoshopped that lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> but I did have the base. And when I went there, I just didn't take the lightsaber because they did actually ban lightsabers and weapons at the movie release. So respecting that, I just wore my outfit, which looks like a normal outfit, except I knew. I knew that that was my cosplay of a Jedi. I had so much fun. Ray, from the movie. Hopefully you've all seen it. If not, there are spoilers. It's easy to dress up as Ray. All you need is like sand-colored stuff. Sand-colored shirts, sand-colored bottoms, brown belts, boots, necklaces. Again, you find this all online. If you have any need for inspiration on cosplay, this is how you do it. Now, there's another character in the movie. Kylo Ren. Any fans? Any not fans? Hopefully you can read this. Uh, uh. I get all my winter clothes at Hot Topic. It's hilarious. And you can find his outfits online. So men, if you want to dress up like the most emo awesome Sith, boots, watches, cuffs, they even have this amazing hooded cloak that you can buy or make if you're into sewing. Easy to do. You can probably get a lot of this from Goodwill. You don't have to buy this new. Again, we said you can get it from closets. You can get it from Goodwill. You can beg your friends to borrow. And you can purchase outfits if you think that you will wear it a lot. I definitely get a lot of use of these shirts. I actually, <laughs> and I've bought dresses. And it's one of those things now where I don't even realize that I'm, I'm buying the colors of my outfits. And then I'm like, oh, I have another one now. <laughs> So you end up stacking up on those power colors, the colors that remind you of the characters that you love. Whether it's rainbow, or just shades of blue and purple and black like our Luna out there. Which is fantastic, by the way. All right, we mentioned Harry Potter earlier. So I had a blue-haired Harry Potter Slytherin character. It was probably 98, 2000? Yeah. And so, what happened when Ellen Rickman passed away? It was horrible, tragic, and I wanted to pay my respects to the headmaster. This is my normal Slytherin outfit. So what did I do when I went to work? I actually just wore a lanyard, you know, that holds your badges. I probably could have worn the tie as well, but I thought I'd try and dress down a little so they wouldn't immediately recognize I was dressing as a Slytherin. Uh, but actually, nobody noticed. But I knew that day I was in Slytherin House paying my respects to Ellen Rickman. And that was what mattered to me. That made me feel like I was doing my part. That made me feel like I was cosplaying. And if there were any other Harry Potter fans at work, guess what they would do? They would notice. If you wear your pony stuff to work and somebody recognizes a character, guess what? You got them. Yep. If they say Pinkie Pie, you know, they at least know who these characters are. So it's really fun to be able to do these cosplays at work, at home, in the mall, because people can recognize it and you can meet more friends with the outfits that you wear. Just like those sports ball players would have a fan of like, yeah, you goes. Guess what? <laughs> you can recognize pony fans in the same way. And there's also nail art for Harry Potter. I'm really into that. So today we've gone over a lot of different outfits, and we've also gone over three lessons for those of you that came in late. The first is to conquer fear. 
when you have to deal with issues, when you have to wear things and you're nervous about what other people will feel, guess what? Don't worry about it. If you're yourself and you want to be yourself and you believe in what you're wearing and your character outfits will make you feel more confident, wear them. Because that's the most important part. And again, accept yourself, be yourself, and be able to cosplay for confidence. And, you know, Deadpool. <laughs> Men and women, you can do any outfit as long as you understand that those will make you feel more confident. So with that, this is the end of my formal presentation. Does anyone else want to share their outfits? Or ask about something that you would like to wear? Okay. Um, would you like to come up? Sure. All right, round of applause. Woo! Hi, what's your name? John. Everyone, this is John. Hey. Hi, John. Hey, John. Hello. Hey, John. And what would you like to tell us? Well, um, I just decided to take this derby hat. I mean, it's pretty much a cosplay in itself. Yeah. <laughs> even though this just looks like a silly hat, you got moves. Are you serious? Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I also got a list of yes. mittens, so. Awesome. What do you guys think? Testimony of them. Oh, thank you I for agree. sharing. <laughs> Anything else? Thank you for sharing your I was just going to ask you a question. Sure. Um, what do you think about OC cosplays? Yeah. What do you think about OC cosplays? Awesome. Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. Even if no one else knows your character, if it makes you feel comfortable, confident, happy, go for it. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was do. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you tell us about your OC here? Um, I don't have it on right now. I'm derpy, obviously. Yeah. No. <laughs> like, what, what colors would you wear? Uh, like, kind of like black and blue, kind of like uh, blue wig and. Kind of like a, yeah, you got it. Black and blue, guys! Yeah, that yeah. Colors. absolutely. And it can be formal or informal. But if those colors can make you feel good, absolutely. Another thing you can do is if you have a cutie mark, and you don't have to, but you can always incorporate the design into uh, either like um, you paint something on, or you can have um, bracelets like this. A lot of people can do custom uh, jewelry, belt buckles, that kind of stuff. Silver silversmith is there? Is that the name? There's a, a brony silversmith that makes fantastic like watches that are engraved and belt buckles. These are silversmith. That silversmith makes yeah. these um, custom dog dog tags. So if you want custom cutie mark stuff, there are actually a lot of great people out there that can make it for you. And when you wear it again, nobody else will know except you. But you'll know that you're being your character. Yeah, that's kind of the thing though. It's like whether it's Halloween or like a event like this, you know, when I do an OC costume, it's like, who are you? <laughs> but, yeah. you know, it's like, whatever, I know it. <laughs> right, and if you want to, when you're doing introductions with people that you meet here, uh, and, and you say, hi, my name is Brass, and today I'm dressing like Luna, and then you can talk about it. One thing to be um, aware of is that you don't want to talk too much without letting the other person talk too, so make sure to ask them about if they have an OC, if you talk about yours. That way you allow them to have time to share their character too. And then you can be better friends, right? Yeah. Awesome. Anything else? No, that's it. All right, thank you. Woo. Other questions, comments? Let's see, what else can I see in the audience? We've got a Pokemon fan. All right, any Pokemon fans? Woo! Woo. Guess what, conversation starter. <laughs> so we've got a Peeps shirt. Are you a Peeps fan? Yeah. Stand up and show everybody. Okay, another great conversation starter. Not pony, but definitely delicious candy. Or marshmallowy goodness. Okay, what else do we have? We already talked about Rainbow Dash. We've got some more Derpy. Uh, Power Ponies. Power Ponies, yes. Yeah, that's what, because we got uh, Saddle, uh, not Saddle Ranger, but what was he called? Totally second. Yeah, Philly second. Philly second. And then we got that. Yep. Saddle Ranger. Matt. Matt 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 Matt
I thought that was well, I know, well, I know one of them was just there. They need to use them more is our problem. We need more Power Ponies episodes. <laughs> yeah. Not a comic. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. And we've got some green in the back. Is that, are you wearing green for a reason? Uh, I guess you could call it Hippie Link if you want. There we go. Awesome. And also our mascots colors too. So, fantastic totally job. <laughs> yes. Come on up. I want to see if anyone can say it. Guess what that means. Okay. Okay. Anybody? Doctor Haybales. <laughs> uh, well, this one's the second doctor. It's like yeah. Next, I got uh, bow tie. Which is the second doctor. Cutie mark thing is attached to that. Also, a bow tie is a tower blast turned sideways. But nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mind is broken. Yes. Got the recorder. Yep. Got. Uh, and the fantastic pants. Yes. They are yes. wonderful. This is what I wanted to come up here. Please. Okay, so shoes are off the rack at like Walmart or yep. something. Pants or pajama pants? <laughs> He's wearing uh, pajama pants. Yes, I actually did have actual dress pants that are wearing the pattern. The zipper broke, and oh. no one wants to see that. Right. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. The shirt was from J.C. Penney. Hard part was getting one with bigger uh, lapels. Well, yeah, yeah, because the second doctor is known for having those. They, they still aren't as big as I would like, and I have to sew on one. Jacket was off of Goodwill, which is where I get Very stuff for cosplay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Except uh, they don't sell these tapered coats. I had to get my mom to modify it for me. <laughs> it's good to have friends who sew if you don't sew yourself. And this is a cheap recorder off a dollar store and some spray paint. That's it. Fantastic. And then I've just got random bits and bobbles that are from everywhere. Those random props that you carry with you. I got a watch that's like Time Lord, although that's actually a new series, but uh, yeah. I got Charlie Davis too. All awesome. right, thank you. Wow, that was fantastic. Pajama pants. I am so jealous. <laughs> Anyone else want to talk about their outfit? You're pointing forward. <laughs> Two ponies in the front row. Yeah. Or middle row. So middle row. row. Oh, they over in this row here. Are you? You don't have to. Okay, so everyone here knows a little bit more about Cosplay for Confidence, right? Yeah. If you're interested, I have a sign up up here. I do monthly motivational emails. And in uh, my table, which is behind the wall here, I have lots of cool swag, I have business cards. Again, if you want to copy the presentation, let me know. And I want to leave you with one final thought. It's all about how you think about yourself. To be yourself, to believe in yourself, you need to stay positive. And that's what My Little Pony is all about. So if you are ever doubting, if you're digging that hole and you just start to feel bad, remember to think about ponies, to smile. And to remember that we are all here to support you. So thank you all and continue to cosplay for confidence. Woo! Thank you. And if you have any questions, I'll be up here. I know we finished a little bit early, but that gives you more time to buy swag, right? Awesome, thank you everybody.